Give him a big round of applause. Jim's going to do a little frisbee routine, which is normally done during our summer shows, but this is how much fun we have in the snow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Zeke the Wonder Dog. <laughs>
touch base a little bit about the sport of mushing? The sport of mushing doesn't mean dog sledding. Mushing is several different sports. There are carting dogs that do these on wheeled rigs. There's all kinds of uh, wheeled uh, devices called scooting that we play with. There's the, uh, the sled for cargo. A lot of dogs will go with their deer hunting owners, and when they get a deer, they drag them back with a sled like this. We're going to talk a little bit about all these other devices. This is cross-country skis for a sport known as ski jury. Ski jury is simply a waist band that goes around your waist, and the dog helps you go through the trail. Pulls right along, just like a sled. And then, of course, we have dog sleds and everything else as well. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it over to Chris first before we get into the weight pole, if you just want to hold off just a second. Or is this our demo for the harness? Ah, perfect. Chris is going to demonstrate some of the equipment and the parts to it that we'll be using today. The first thing is the dog harness. This isn't a standard harness that you buy at PetSmart. That's not what it is. This harness is designed to take up the shock of the pole. So we're going to take it off the dog first because there is a bit of a trick to put it on. Okay, now this is a standard harness. People will look at that and go, how in the heck does that go on my dog? There's a trick to putting it on. We're going to fold it in half so that the head uh, hole that's designed in it is easily to put on. She'll slide it over the side. Then she'll pull the, uh, the tug from the back tail all the way across his back and put his legs through the leg holes. Okay, and one on the other side. Very nice. Now she'll stretch that out. Simple as that. This is a dog harness. Again, it's not a walking harness. This is designed to take the stress off the pull. Makes it a comfortable distributing the weight across the body. Very nice. And if Chris wants to go over the sled, we'll show you what a standard dog sled has and what the parts are for it. First off, believe it or not, there's a brake. You can stop the sled. It's amazing. Chris is going to put down her brake, and as she's mushing, she just jumps onto that pad. And that's the brake to stop the sled and the team of dogs. Very nice. Show, show them the runners where you stand as you're going. Very nice. They actually stand on the runner. And the reason that area is open between the two is so we can paddle. It's an art of giving the dogs a little help as we go. Especially going up a hill or through deep snow. So we're on the brake. That's to stop the team. And when you're ready to keep them there, there's two, there's two brakes, a pedal brake hook to the pad brick. And then if you want to pick up the snow hook, once you get your team stopped, you got to keep them there with an anchor. It's kind of like a boat anchor. You throw it down and you stomp it into the ground, and that holds your sled from moving, and you can go work on the dogs. Very nice. Now, to hook the dogs up, we have what we call a gang line. A gang line is a line that hooks to the front of the sled, of course. Hold that up for you. Okay, and we'll stretch that out. You can see Chris would be the sled holding on to the gang line. There's a bungee cord shock line that's in between there. That takes up the shock of the dogs taking off when you're initially starting. Now this first set of red wires or lines, these are the uh, tug lines, they're called, for what we call the wheel dog. The wheel dogs are the first two dogs behind the sled, or in front of the sled rather, that pull the sled along. They're, they're the muscle of the team. So you have two lines, one, two dogs side by side, right? And then they come up and the harnesses are hooked to them and then there's another hook that hooks right there to their pout. So this is a neck line. And that goes out to the two lead dogs that Chris has in her hand. They get hooked up to those two lines and then you have your lead dog. So this is the way a gang line works. If you want to do more than, say, two dogs, four dogs, you just keep adding these, uh, these rings together until you have enough lines for each dog on your team. Very nice. Next up we have ski jurying. If you want to, oh, the skis are over there, that's fine. Ski jurying, again, is just like cross-country skiing, only your dog's going to pull you along. We'll have him get set up. Just show the equipment. We're not doing this yet. We're going to do weight pull first. But it's a simple setup. Dog has the same exact harness on. The harnesses are used for every dog sport, whether it's pulling a cart with cargo in it, or pulling a sled, or pulling a wheel rig. It's all the same setup. So cross country skis. We're going to demonstrate that in just a second. Thank you very much. Let's give them a big round of applause. We're going to get into a little competition now called the weight pull.
delay pull is again, this is an actual dog sport that you'll find at any dog sled competition. When they have a competition for sled dogs, it's usually a race of different classes of numbers of dogs on the team. There's a three dog class, four dog class, and so on, all the way up to 23. So every part of that, the break and the intermission of a dog race is weight pull. We test the weights that the dog can pull based on their practice and, and that kind of thing. The conditions are always uh, different. Sometimes we do this on dry land with a wheeled rig. Sometimes we do it on snow with what we call a drag. So we're gonna hook up the dog here. This long line that Willie has, this is called a held, the hold back line, it's a drag line. We don't want the sled to hit the dog when the dog gets to the end of the pole. The length of the pole is between the sled and that stack of cinder blocks so right over there. The regulation length for weight pole is 16 feet. Ours is going to be a little longer because this is a champion weight pole right here. This is Buki. Okay, they're ready to go. Okay, you're going to go on height. He'll get out his toy and call it in. Get on the other side there, here, right here. On your marks, get set. Hike! A simple pull of four cinder blocks. Cinder blocks weigh approximately 40 pounds each. We're going to turn the sled around and then we're going to add some weight. Now here's the thing, this gets hard for a dog to do. We've got over 300 pounds worth of cinder blocks sitting here. We're going to need your help. The louder you cheer, the faster this dog will pull. We're going to see if we can get him up to Maybe a full rep of uh, cinder blocks. We'll <laughs> add some blocks. There we go. All right, we'll get set up with one more block. You want to put that many on there? I guess we'll try it. Boogie's pretty good at this, so it might be a fine deal. All right, see how we're doing there? On hike, are you ready? On your marks, get set, hike! Wow, we've only got two blocks left to get over 300 pounds. Let's turn the sled around, Willie. All right, we gotta add a, we gotta pick that one up that fell there, did he? All right, let's put this block on, see if we can get a full pull with one more block. All right, here we go again. Pookie ready to pull. This dog is a machine, but remember, the louder you cheer, the more he'll pull. Okay, we're ready, ready to go. You guys ready to see the heavy pull here? Let's cheer him on. On your marks, get set. Hike! Over 300 pounds, Buki, ready to launch. In position, ready to go. Let's really rev him up. He might need your help with this pull. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set. Whoops, wait a minute. We gotta get the toy out of his mouth. There we go. I will work for toys. Buki, ready to launch. On your marks. Get set. Hike! There, Willie. There's a little push to get it started. Keep calling him. Cheer him on. Here it goes. Look at this. 320 pounds. No problem. Oh, my. Give that dog a big round of applause. That was unbelievable run by Boogie, the weight 
pole champion. All right, let's get ready for some ski during action. This is one of the first sports that we're going to do here for you in dog mushing. We've got our ski juror out here, junior handler at the helm there. Give him a big round of applause. Doing a great job all weekend. Now this is a beginner ski juror actually. He just learned this not too long ago. The dogs of course are all seasoned so they know the game. All right, ski jury. Again, this is just same as cross country, but the dog pulls you down the trail. Simple as that. <laughs> All right, you ready? On your mark, get set. Hike. <laughs> before we get into the monkey dog sleds. I'll try it one more time. Or that works. <laughs> That's all right. Let's give a big round of applause. Do your handler and ours. Okay, we'll get our collar in position. Or are down there? Thank you very much. Okay, you guys ready? On your mark. Get set. <laughs> 